Welcome back to Elden Ring. Let's explore this part of Kaled. If nothing else, there's like a little shack over here. Maybe it's a painter's shack. I'm not sure. Also not sure if I've ever gone down this road. Ooh, Sight of Grace. Dragon Barrow West. Yeah, so that's the pathway that we've walked from the deep sea off our well up to where that giant pot boy is. We've been over there, right? There's some ruins. That, uh, actually, maybe we haven't. Have we really not? No, we have. Those are the Kalim ruins. Yeah. Hmm. I didn't realize there was a way over. Like, I thought it was impossible to get here without going through the Church of the Plague and all of that. But you could actually jump over from here to here. Oh, there's some souls up there. I guess I didn't go to that cemetery. I think that's it. Don't want to stick around and get hugged. Oh, there's a dead dragon right there. Doggies. Attack me? So if they, as a group of people, were all trapped underground or buried alive, basically, where did these come from? Did these come after? Or are these ones that escaped it? Escaped being rounded up, I guess? 
What have you got? Fist weapon. Oh, beast repellent torch. Burns oil infused with a special incense. The aroma pacifies wild beasts. Torches such as these were used to keep unwelcome beasts away from treasure troves hidden in caves. Yeah, let's get that. Land of Reed's armor set, I th think. Mm. I think this is what the like ninja class starts with. Oh, sacrificial twigs. I haven't found those in forever, so I should just buy some. Let's get all three. And a couple notes. Gateway and Hidden Cave. Have a safe journey. Hidden Cave. There's a hidden cave in the town of Celia. Look beyond the graveyard at the precipice. Have I found a cave in Celia already? I'm not sure. I'll have to go back and check. Gateway. Fort Gale in Caled houses a gateway that leads to Redmain Castle. Okay, well that we already found for sure. Okay, the hidden dungeon the note was talking about must be the Celia hideaway, which was hidden behind a illusory like rock wall. And that is beyond the grave at the Church of the Plague up here. But, actually, teleporting here did make me realize that one place I haven't gone is down this road over to this, like, gateway thing? Or, I mean, I've been through the gateway at the bottom, but I haven't been to the top. Remember there was, like, a... I think there was a giant up here throwing magic pots at me or something? Yeah, I have not been up here. Poor things. Oh, there's the giant that was throwing the pots.
What if that gets rid of them for good? Probably. Visible sort, mage trio ahead. Yeah. There is a head ahead. Eternal darkness. Oh, I'll check that out next time I get to a uh, site of grace. Precious item ahead. Hmm. Okay, but where? Where do I go from here? Oh, they probably mean the one down there at the center. The needle. Which, of course, I already got. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else there. I think I'm going to teleport out of there. So our new spell, Eternal Darkness, takes 35 int, creates dark space that draws in spells. Hmm. So it's spell protection, but it lasts a while, it sounds like. Oh, that looks so cool. Hmm. I wonder if the things they these shoot are considered spells. Probably not. No. Let's try it here. Oh! What's the, like, radius on that? I mean, pretty wide. 
Oh, that is so cool looking. So it doesn't actually stop them, it just gravitationally pulls them in a different direction. You can see they still go through and they do still hit things. Just usually not me. That is so cool looking. Can I do multiple? Oh no, it gets really old one. I wonder if it works on like pretty much all magic? Or maybe more... Like, I can't imagine that would work on beams, right? It probably works on more projectile things. Okay, the place where the painting was taken of this Radon arches is down there, right next to this minor Erd tree. There's this branch here that looks like you're kind of supposed to fall on it, but I really feel like that's too far away to survive. My best bet, I think, my best idea for how to get down there is the Spirit Spring. Depends exactly where it lands me, but I think you don't take fall damage as you fall down from a Spirit Spring. Oh, it doesn't... Ah. Uh, it doesn't quite give you enough distance to actually get over the lip. No, damn. Okay, I guess I gotta try the route. Guess there's no reason to use the horse, that just makes it harder. Oh, that is a route above me. I think I can maybe hit that lip. Okay, let's try to hit the lip. Yeah, okay. So you do need the horse, you need that double jump. I think. hard to see anything. It's so dark here. i probably go to that branch. I might die if I hit that next pillar down. No, I, I don't feel like I would die. Let's take more cotton. Oh no. Whoa. Yeah, that's a hard one. Let's find the painting spot. There we go. Ash of War, Reign of Arrows. Oh. Okay, that's going to wake up, definitely. Uh, 
Okay, that thing has a lot of hit points. It also has laser beams. Okay, broke its poise. Oh, did I just... I broke its poise again. Yes! Does about 7,000 damage. This thing has like 20,000 hit points or more, maybe. <sighs> Scary place to fight. Just because it's hard to get back down. Let's try out the Rain of Arrows. Not that I use a bow much. Well, ever. But I just want to see what it looks like. Nope, not the right one. Wait, what? What's that? Do I have to then do it? Oh, I probably do that and then use one of the arrow types. Yes. Yeah, so you could do Reign of Arrows with whatever arrow type you want. Holding it down doesn't do anything differently. Nope. And it only takes one arrow, right? Yeah, just one arrow to make a lot of arrows fall. Decent amount of FP cost. So if I use, let's say, like a... I don't know, Dwelling Arrow, sure. Yep. Ah, oh, cool. Hmm, seems to shoot a lot less of the dwelling arrow. I think that was a lot less. Maybe just to make sure it's not too powerful. Or something. Or maybe I just ran out of FP. I think it's the same amount. I maybe just ran out of FP or something. I wanted to go test the damage, but that's kind of pointless when my bow isn't even upgraded. The damage would be terrible. But yeah, really cool attack. Okay, um, I'm at the Grand Lift of Dectus, which I've never, ever, ever tried to use. Someone said it was broken, I think? But I have both parts for the Grand Lift of Dectus, which... Means maybe it's not broken, but just needs that to be operated. And now I can actually operate it. Let's find out. Whoa. Hoist medallion. Wait, is this... Where is the grand lift? Like, is that the grand lift? Is this the grand lift? tunnel ahead. No. <laughs> Someone jumped around that corner.
Oh, the entire thing is the Grand Lift. I wonder where this is going to put us versus the other place that is a shortcut around having to get the Grand Lift parts. It suggests to me that you don't actually need to use the Grand Lift, right? I mean, that NPC told us how to get around it, and we got around it. I just didn't progress any further. I think this is the Altus Plateau. Yes. So yeah, the way we got up with the shortcut was over here. It's quite close. What are these? These spectral flags. Didn't we have similar spectral flags in the battle arena for Radon? There's the capital. Already done. <laughs> oh, hey. The person who invited me to the Volcano Manor. I've been waiting for you. I knew you had the stuff of champions. I hereby invite you to the Volcano Manor. Take my hand and have audience with my mistress. Oh, are you just gonna take us right there? Uh, uh sure. Give me your hand. I will pray that you follow the same path as Lady Tanith. Oh, let's equip the Beast Torch. How much does it weigh? Half a, I don't know, kilogram? Half a kilogram less than the steel wire. Oh, same as the Ghost Flame. Oh, that is, well, I think it's just because this place is already red, but that is intensely eye-searingly red. I think I prefer this for now. Well, I can... Actually, I just want two to switch between the shield and the torch. I'll switch to the beast torch in a not red area. proper greeting, but I don't really have one here. What do you want? No, I don't think that works. Um, bow. There we go. Brave Tarnished. Welcome to the Volcano Manor. I am Tanith, the proprietress of this house. Raya spoke well of you, a warrior of promise. I believe she said. Perhaps you are prepared to make a commitment. Will you join us here at the Volcano Manor? And resist the tide? Why accept the burden of their grace? Or be fooled by the dogmatic ramblings of the fingers? Rise with us. Against the Erd Tree. Oh. Against the Erd Tree. Well, I mean, I'm already going to burn the thorns of the Erd Tree, so I'm kind of already against the Erd Tree, so sure. Interesting. Your decision is most welcome. Now you belong to the Volcano Manor family. The drawing room lies down the hall. 
Make yourself comfortable, but be sure to earn your keep. The drawing room is through. Use the key I handed you. Down the halls, probably down here. Just taking a nap. Wait, so what am I, what am I supposed to do? Why did you give me the key to this room? Make yourself comfortable. Okay, I thought that looked weird because the painting was like slightly to the side. Oh, hold on. Maybe. Maybe that's a beast? Yes! Oh, I don't have to kill them. The red burns my eyes, but it's worth it. Excuse me. Um. Be wary of up. Oh. Plop. Nomadic Warrior Cookbook Twenty One. Get past it. Cookbook 21. Alluring pot. Oh. That is a strong foe. Unbreakable. Craved perfumer, Carmon. Depraved perfumers practice their art for themselves alone. Carmon was a notably formidable perfumer whose strength rivaled that of heroes, and it is said that he was in search of a secret physic of revivification. That's probably not going to be scared by this. I don't know, maybe. Are you? No. I'm sure that's a bleed weapon. Mm-hmm. And it has Bloodhound's step on it. Oh, but you could replace that. 
Does 110 critical. Little bonus. Large curve claws used by Bloodhound Knights. The curve allows the weapon to slip through an enemy's guard. Praise the message in short, help me. Oh, look at them. Prison Town Church. You know, I haven't looked at the map yet. Where am I on the map? Oh, not that far away, actually. I was here. And I can teleport anywhere, so I'm not, like, actually trapped. I was kind of worried for a second. Given that it's called Prison Town Church. Cool. Oh, you look real nasty. Do I want to continue this way or like, I actually want to go back here and try the other doors. There's a lot of different ways to go in the manor beyond just the drawing room. I wonder if I can tell them, hey, I found a secret room. Are you proud of me? The drawing room is through. Use the key. No, just make yourself comfortable. Someone please kill him. Hmm. serpent. Wait, are these all the drawing room? Recusant finger. Attempts invasion of other players' world. Letter. A written request from Volcano Manor disclosing the name of a tarnished to be hunted. Old Knight Istvan. He can be found in Limgrave. Find the red mark on your map for the exact location. Is it marked now? This is just rolled, isn't it? Yeah, Grant lift rolled. Oh, there's Istvan. You, what in heaven's name are you doing here? The Volcano Manor is a pit of recusants who spit at grace and hunt our own kind. I hope you understand the weight of my words. Mm. Yeah, I understand. Well, as long as you understand what you're saying. I thought you were tarnished bred by virtue. Perhaps playing that part led you to your doubts, I wonder. But know that the path you walk is blasphemy and leads only to a miserable death. Before you consider hunting any of your own kind, think on that. Yeah, I don't know if I want to kill a fellow tarnished. I wonder if that's the sort of thing that leads you to needing the, what was it, the Celestial Dew or something that, where you can like request to be, what was the term? Basically have all your sins forgiven at the Turtle Church. Hello again, brave tarnished. 
As a scout, I am pleased to see you again here, at the Volcano Manor, under Lady Tanith's guidance. May you tread the path of valor. Brave Tan under Lady... It's odd that you can't open the door from the other side. Try gesturing? It does seem like there should be a door here. What gesture are you using? Does it matter what gesture? Probably. I don't know. Let's just try bowing. It's not the one they were using. Let me see if I have the one they used. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they used a reverential bow. Yeah, I think they're just messing with me. Slaying spear in the Lord's chamber, worthy tarnished. Brandish the spear and run him through the great serpent. That unspeakable monstrosity. Pray to Rikard's ambitions, though blasphemous. Marked him a worthy sovereign. But they were reduced to gluttonous depravity once he gave himself to the serpent. Whatever that thing is, it is no longer Praetor Rikard. Someone must kill him to spare him and his ambitions from further dishonor. Worthy tarnished. The Lord's Chambers, probably in the mansion, I would imagine. Either down there or upstairs. I would assume upstairs for the Lord's Chambers. Battle ahead. Strong foe. Okay, it's a lot of bloodstains. Oh my god, what is that weapon? I think it's one of the wheels of those things from the academy. Giza's wheel. Requires a lot of strength, not surprising. And spinning wheel is the special. Causes blood loss build up 70. That's a lot. Colossal weapon. Great iron wheel lined with flesh flaying blades. Device of torture used by Inquisitor Giza. As the wheel spins, it causes severe pain and blood loss. The design was adopted for use as the iconic weapon wielded by Iron Virgins. Ah, oh, right. That's the things I was talking about. Iron Virgins. What a weird name. Well, my strength is... What's half of 17? Well, half of 18 is 9. So I don't know if it rounds up or down, but let's say it adds a 9 to that. That would... 8, 7, 6. That'd be 26. And it needed... What was that? 28. So even two-handed, I wouldn't be able to wield that unless I put 
on something that increases my strength. Which I actually might have. Dex, int, and strength. I want to just see this thing running. I want to see this special running. Yeah. It's going to work. What if I hold it down? Oh yeah, just keep spinning and using FP. Oh my god, yes. You could... Mm, I wonder how much damage that does over time. Like... This allows for longer attacking, far longer attacking, and more frequent than my um, wild strikes. Ooh. How much does it weigh? Because it's got me under heavy load. 19, oh my god. Compared to this, which is 2.5. So wait, was that all that was upstairs? Just that one big room with Giza in it? I guess so. I want to see what's out the front door before I go to the prison town church off to the side. Just what's out here? Mount Gelmir. Be wary of prawn. Well done, good luck, thank you. Oh, I guess that's gonna fall down. What is that? Oh, it's a mannequin. Wonder how the mannequins ended up all the way over here. They've been stringing up so many people. Hmm. Well, there is a map fragment there. I really do want that before I continue in this place. Oh, can I horse here? Yeah. Try using com Comet is just like my main thing, and we'll see if I run out of FP. If I do, then I'll switch to a more efficient one, but yeah, let's just try Comet. This is a game message. I thought this a mountain of fire, but I hardly feel a thing. I'll have to head further down. Oh, Pop Boy. Is that the Pop Boy we've talked with, or... Or a different pop boy. I think that's new. Crafting ingredient, of course. Ooh. Beetle. Ash of War through and through. Looks like it's for 
Mm, spears? So we can get up there, but other than that, it seems like this might be a dead end. Oh, I see hands. Baby hand. Oh, is the hand just <laughs> the hand is just vibing with the birds, just looking at the sights. Bird, but bird. Friendship ahead. Oh no! I don't want to fight you. Just go back to chilling. There you go. I love those idle animations. Scratching an itch or something. Or maybe just applying moisturizer. This one's vibing. can see things. Ooh, 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 what's that? Oh, there's so many cool things on this map. It's a whole other, like, castle over there. And it looks like this is not a dead end. Lord Rykard. 
if this putrid field of death is what you blasphemy, is what your blasphemy would bring. Uh, one second. Then I can no longer abide. No one can. Rikard, the blasphemous serpent thing that everybody seems to want dead. Road of inequity. No. Iniquity. Yeah, that just keeps on going down and down. Well, I think that's a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to continue from the Prison Town Church.